Previously, we saw this scary list of all the plots comes under Seaborn. But don't worry, this is not going to be as scary as it looks. Trust me, it's going to be very simple as we progress. We will cover each of these plots one by one and that you are going to learn very easily in a matter of minutes. So we will start with categorical plots today. In this, we will cover count plot. So when you start with count plot, you start, we will start with creating a simple plot just like this, which we also took as an example in the previous video. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learn Area. And to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Well, so here we are on Jupyter Notebook. In this, we will today we are going to start with count plot so first thing which we need to do is importing all the required libraries so what are the libraries that we need is import pandas as pd then import numpy as np import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then the one which we are going to learn today is seaborn as sns so that's it there is something wrong what is that pandas as pd so all of these four libraries have been imported now now the time comes in when we import the data on which we would be creating the visualization so first thing i'll be creating mark data frame so from mark data frame what I'll do, how are we going to create that using the pandas library, read excel, I would say excel and in that I will provide the location from where I want to import this excel file. So location which we just used in the previous video, the same one, I will copy from here so that we could save on time. I will just copy it from here and let's put it here and then let's have a look on this how does this data looks like though we have seen this in previous video again we will have a look over here right so this is how our data frame looks like now the next problem statement which comes in over here is create a basic count plot to get number of transaction for each of the product line and change the figure size as well. So there are two problem statements over here. First, we want to take a count of each of the product line used over here. So how can we do that? That's going to be like this. Just say library name, which is SNS dot count plot. So you just write the initial letters and hit tab key from your keyboard and that will be auto count completed if you want to understand all the arguments comes under count plot then you can just click on count plot hit shift tab from your keyboard and click this plus button and you can have a look on all the arguments comes under this particular plot and their description are also covered just over here here in this video we will cover all those arguments which are most frequently used and are required for you to create the count plots so here, first thing, we need to provide the data for x-axis, which we want to plot on x-axis. So on x-axis, like here it says product line, we want to see the count by product line. So we will say product line, and then we need to provide the data, which is going to be marked, right? Let's run this, then we will understand what is the problem with figure size. All right, so here we have the count for each of the product line but the problem is we are not able to read out the product line name here clearly right like you can see it over here here you can see that this particular product line has almost 175 transactions this particular product line has almost slightly more than 175 or exactly 175 but it is very important to know what is the product line which is showing at x-axis so for that what we can do is we can take the help from matplotlib so for that we're gonna say plt dot figure 
you can just again type fig and hit the tab key from your keyboard and in that you just need to use fix size and in fix size you need to provide the dimension first it goes the dimension of x axis which i'm going to give 15 and then the y axis which i'm going to give 5 and then again press ctrl plus enter and here you have the product lines mentioned very clearly all right so now you can read it very clearly that this particular product food and beverages have slightly less than 175 records somewhere 174 and this one has exactly 175 and so on so this is how you can create a count plot to just check frequency for a category by a category now i will just copy this particular thing from here and we will be keep on using in all the subsequent problem statement over here now here it says make it horizontal make it horizontal bar plot so whatever plot we just created over here that is columnar now what if we want to see it in the form of bar like horizontal so let's do that in that you don't need to do much just whatever you plotted on x axis you need to plot that on y axis so i just changed the axis name over here and just hit ctrl plus enter bravo now here you have the output the same output but in the form of bar charts this is still giving you the frequency i mean the count for each of the product line here you don't require to fit the figure size but still if sometime it is needed then you can do that using the same statement which we have just used over here i just hope that it is clear to you just in case if you have any doubt don't hesitate to put that into the comment section now next thing which comes in over here again first let me just hit the enter to have this product uh, bar chart created or maybe column chart created and again we will just set the figure figure and in that we're gonna say fix size in the fix size like we previously used 15 comma 5 and then hit enter and this is how we can see all of these products we uh sorry all of these product lines frequencies now the problem statement is add u over here add u to get the count on two categories that is product line and gender now here we just saw that this is the frequency for each of the product line now we also want to see in food and beverages how many transactions are done by male and how many are female and same for all of this product line how can we do that there are two things which require so for that we just use u argument over here and in that we need to provide the variable name which we want to categorize on further so like here you can see food and beverage is blue column is for female and this one is for male so like you can see for food and beverages these many transactions somewhere 90 transactions are done by female and somewhere 85 transactions are done by female sorry male right so this is how it is distributed for all of the subsequent product lines next comes use different color palette now we have to use the different color palettes so the whatever color showing over here we need to use something different than that let's try that how can we use how can we change the color palette for that you have a parameter called palette right and in that you need to use the color palette name now don't worry if you are like anyone whoever is starting might not be aware of what all are the color palettes which are acceptable over here so we don't know anything so we'll just write this thing over here and here it throws an error and it at the same time it also suggests the acceptable color for color palettes so we can pick any one of these two sorry not two any one from this list and we can just put it over here and then again control and enter then you can get this colors right similarly you can choose any other color from that list again if you want to see what other colors are then just do this pick a color from here and then just put it over here here we got the other set of colors all right so this is how you can create uh, modify the column chart column count plot now the next thing which comes in over here is 
change style using color line width and age color right so here i have already created it now i'll just explain you quickly for for example here we already had filled columns now what if you don't want have filled columns right columns which has color filled inside it then you can use this kind of syntax simple you need to say count plot provide the x-axis column and then the data then here you need to put face color in face color you can just use all as zero all right and then in line width we need to put the width of la uh, sorry width of this lines right so for this line this is the width and then edge color you need to provide the edge color that i have given dark and three right and when you hit enter you get this kind of chart created so this is how we just covered count plot i just hope that it was clear to you just in case of any doubt do not hesitate to put that into the comment section we will definitely try to resolve that until then thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good